Hello Brass Players, it's Mr Brailsford here. I just thought I'd do a few videos for you, just to keep you in touch over our enforced break. First of all, warm-ups and breathing. I think it's so important that uh, before you start playing, that you really spend a lot of time getting these two things sorted out. So first of all, let's do some basic breathing exercises to try and get our our lungs nice and full. So first of all, let's breathe in on three. So you breathe in, you hold the air, and then you let it out naturally. As you do this, try and make sure you let your breath go as deep into your lungs as you possibly can. Think of a milk bottle. Think of filling a milk bottle up with water, the water goes to the bottom of the milk bottle first. So here we go again, let's breathe in on three. Hold it. And then let it go out. It's quite easy as well to go from that then to making sure that you always do three minutes of mouthpiece practice every day. So again, building in that breathing in then we're going to do some long tones on the mouthpiece. Probably begin with uh, concert B flats, then dropping down to concert Fs, then maybe up to concert D. Here we go then. So we're going to breathe in and then we're going to do some buzzing on the mouthpiece. Uh. you've got that going and you can feel your chops starting to react then what you need to do is do some articulating on those same notes so maybe just some quavers some triplets <laughs> Remember, begin with a good breath and then let's go down chromatically from B flats downwards. Then we'll go up in the harmonic series to our Fs and then downwards chromatically. And then up to the next, up to our B flats and down chromatically. Think about a pretty soft production for the first two and then maybe the third of the three notes. Maybe just give it a little bit more articulation. A little bit like this. tones it's good then to do some gentle slurring not full lip flexibility it's just gentle slurring so again on those harmonic series B flat F B flat above you can even introduce the D one you now need to move chromatically and just gentle slurring here we go <laughs> And if 
the chops feel good, up you go to the D. So you can see you start to build up both your breathing, your tone, and now some gentle slurring articulation. You can also again think of the harmonic series if you want to go now to extend from B flat, F, B flat, D, and then the F above. Again, if the mouth and the chops feel good, then you can do that. I like to think about this as if you were building brick walls. Think about each harmonic series as a separate brick. So let's go for a, a three brick wall. So B flat, F, B flat. And then let's go for a four brick wall. B flat, F, B flat and D. And a five brick wall going up to the F. And if you want, you want to go up and you want to come down. If you fancy going for a sixth brick, make sure you go for the top B flat. At this stage, you don't want to be catching the A flat. Let's go for that one. And as you get stronger and as your chops start to work, you can do more. Welcome back. It's important now to do some slurring, some slurring within a scale, because again, that starts to get your slide technique moving early as part of your warm up. So let's just do a, a pair slurring exercise using C major. <laughs> As I say, you can do those in different keys, depending on how you feel and what you want to be at. After that, it's really important to start to think about articulating. So this time, with a much firmer uh, tongue action, you'll need to raise your dynamic maybe up to MF and do some uh, harmonics, but this time do it articulating. <laughs> is important I didn't quite have enough in there but there we go once you've gone through some articulating you can then mix the two up and your warm-up starts to develop now all of these ideas I mean they're not just mine many brass teachers use them I uh, like to think that a lot of the ideas I use come from Max Slushberg's uh, daily warm-ups and daily routines but obviously it's good to watch people and it's good to watch the best as well. So if you if you go on YouTube and look at Joseph Alessi, probably the finest trombone player in the world at the moment, you'll be able to see a really, really fantastic trombone player going through some of the sort of exercises that I've just shown you. So there we go. So I think that completes our work on our warm ups, our breathing. Uh, so look forward to seeing you next time. All the best. Bye-bye.